Welcome to another video tutorial for 90 Second Website Builder. This is Greg Hughes. In this video, I want to talk to you about the Mobile Site Builder. This powerful functionality makes it possible for you to very easily create mobile websites based on the jQuery platform. And I'll show you how to do it. When you first open 90 Second Website Builder, you may have this big blank page here because we're just opening up a conventional page. To build a mobile site, we need to tell the software that we want to create a mobile page. So if we go up to the Page menu and under New Page, select new mobile page, it will open up a new canvas for us. Now a couple of things just happened when we did that. First of all, the most obvious is it just created a canvas that's only 320 pixels wide and that's because we're going to be building a mobile site and that's about how wide they are. You may have not noticed the toolbox changed rather subtly and is only showing tools that are appropriate for us to be building a mobile site with. So if I scroll down here a little bit, you're going to see we have a new set of tools that have appeared, the jQuery mobile tools. And for the most part, we're going to be building our mobile site using these tools. Now we're not limited to these tools. We can still add text and images and some of the other things that are up here. But we're going to want to build our site mostly around the framework of this jQuery mobile platform because that's what makes a mobile site look the way it does and behave the way it does. And so in this video, I'm going to just go over most of these tools. There are a few things you'll notice that are quite different in building a mobile site than in building a conventional one. First, you need to know that what we're doing is we're working with responsive design. Now, there are other ways to build responsive websites in 90 Second Website Builder, for example, using the responsive tools. But in this case, we're building a very specific kind of responsive website called a jQuery mobile website, which is specially designed, of course, for smartphones and tablets to view a website. So that's why we are working with a specific set of tools. Let's start with the page header. It's very simple. I just grab this tool and you'll notice that I draw a box. You will also notice that it snaps into place. This particular object, the page header, will always be at the top of my mobile site. I can configure this just like anything else by double clicking on it and bringing up the object's properties. You'll see that the page header comes with some header text and two buttons on either side. These are all configurable in this window. So for example, for the left button, I can change what that does and how it looks. Let's make some changes to it. I want this button to show an icon and there are a list of pre-built icons. Let's choose a telephone and let's have it say something else. Instead of home, we'll have it say call us. I'm also going to link this button in such a way that when the user taps on it, it calls a phone number. Click OK, click OK again, and now I've just made a call us button with a little icon in it. So if the user were to tap on this button, it would dial the phone number I programmed into there. We can also change, of course, what it says here. It doesn't have to say header. We might want to put something like the name of our website here. Also, we don't have to use these buttons. We can disable them. So I'll disable the contact button. That's the one that's on the right. So right here where it says button right, I can just simply say false. If I click F5, I can preview my work. You'll notice I've set my browser to be as narrow as a mobile device right here. If we stretch it, of course, and go wider, tablet size, you'll see that the site is responsive because again, we are working with a responsive platform in jQuery. Since I'm building a mobile site for a smartphone, I'm going to leave my browser at around 320 pixels. So when I preview my work, I can see what it's going to look like in a phone. Let's close that and let's go back to this object. We're still working with the page header tool. There's a lot more we can do with it. And again, I won't be able to cover all of this in the same video because there's just so many options. One of the things I can do is I can add navigation below this header. So I'm going to do that by adding some navigation items. By clicking this button, let's add a navigation object, our services. And I would probably want this to link to a page somewhere. Right now I don't have one to link to, so we'll just link to the index page. And we'll click OK. Let's add another navigation item. I click Add. We want to show people our prices, for example. Let's link this to a page. Now you'll notice that I'm also given an option to put an icon next to these. So let's do that. Let's put an icon next to prices. I'll just put one here, say OK, click OK. I didn't put an icon next to the other one, but I did put one next to prices. I want my navigation bar to show those icons, so instead of showing none, I'll say no, let's show the icons, but let's show them to the left. Now here's what happens. I added two items to my navigation, one called Our Services, that's a link when people click on it, and another one called Our Prices, which also has an icon showing to the left. Let's do an F5 and see what that looks like now. 
You'll see that when we hover over these things, they are in fact links because they behave that way and they would go to whatever page we link them to. We can add almost unlimited items within reason to this page. We want to be careful not to add too many because remember when you're building a mobile site, people are looking at a very small space and they're navigating with their finger. So you wouldn't want to make navigation that had 10 or 15 items here because it would get very, very small and hard to navigate. But in this case, we made a two item navigation bar on our mobile site. So let's close this up. Now you may be wondering at this point, why are we working in such uh, drab colors? <laughs> this is just black and white and gray. Can we change that? Well, of course the answer is yes. And in fact, because we're working with jQuery, we have themes that we can work with because that's how jQuery works. The look of your website with jQuery is decided upon by a page theme. So if we right click on the page, go to page properties and click on the tab that says jQuery mobile, we can pick one of the three themes that are built in. Now you're not limited to these themes because themes are something that you can create very easily. You can create an entire library of themes if you want. Let's take a look at one of them. Here's the default theme. I'm going to click on the theme manager and take a look at it. Default and in fact we'll go to edit so you can see what the theme looks like. So this particular theme is designed this way to have these particular colors and this particular behavior. Every once in a while you'll see the word swatch as we're working with themes and a swatch is just a variation of this particular theme. You can have 26 different variations of the same theme. If I switched from swatch A to swatch B, this theme would have a very different look. And there's C, D, and so on. There are 26 slots, but that doesn't mean all 26 are designed. Many of these are just the default design and are left here for you to make your own swatches. So you could choose F and redesign this swatch and save it as part of the theme simply by changing all of these parameters. There'll be a video about just working with the jQuery themes, but for now I want you to know where the website is getting its look. So far all we've done is look at the page header tool. Remember there's also a page footer tool simply draw a box and again it doesn't matter how big I draw it or where I place it it jumps into place since this is a footer it's always going to be at the foot of the page if I double click on it again I can edit it to say whatever I want it to say and of course we can change the look of that let's look at some of the other tools in the jQuery mobile toolbox this is called the collapsible and this is just a very unique way to show more content again I'll draw a box I can add or remove items and decide how they look this is just a menu system that allows us to put content into boxes the objects we would place in here would mostly be images text things like that so let's try that I'll go grab the image tool which is in the conventional toolbox and let's say we want to put an image inside here let's put a picture of this guy inside this box let's put another image down in this one grab the image tool and put her here now these images can be edited we can double click on them just like any other image tool make this a link to something we could also add more items I'll double click here let's add a third item we'll call it test click OK stretch this down here expand it and instead of putting an image we can actually put text in here and this text could be a link to something. Let's do an F5 so you can see how it behaves. And again, we're looking at a preview of our site. When we click on these menu items, they open up to display the content inside of them. I'm going to delete this object so we can have room to look at some of the other tools in the jQuery mobile. I'm going to skip the grid for now and talk to you about that a little bit later. And let's go to list view. And again, we just draw a box. These are items that we can edit to be links. Double click on this. And you can see that we can decide what these say by clicking the edit button. This could be linked to a, another page. And in fact, this item can have an image in it, an icon, for example. Let's find an icon that we could put here, like this one, and see what this looks like. I'm going to click OK, click OK again. And now you can see I've added something to our list that is a clickable link with an icon of my choosing. Let's do an F5. So when we hover over this item, you can see that it behaves like a link. If we were to click on it, it would take us to the page that we're linking to. Let's close this, and I'll show you a quick trick. In fact, if we choose the style, we can tell the software what size we want those images to be. And there are some preset sizes that work best for mobile. You're going to want to use images 
that fit the thumbnail size you chose. So for example, if I choose 48 by 48, I should use an image that is approximately 48 pixels here for it to look its best. So that's how the list view tool works. I'm gonna go ahead and delete this. And let's move on to the next one called the panel tool. This is one of my favorite jQuery objects. Again, I'm gonna draw a box and it falls into place. We can double click on this panel and start to configure how we want this to work. One of the things we can do is we can start with what icon we want to show in the corner. This one's called bars, but we can change that to any of the other icons that were shown here. So we'll change that to navigation. The position can be either left, right, top, middle, or none at all. We can also affect shadows, decide which swatch we're going to use. Let's have it say something that would be more sensible that's appropriate to the website. Now before we go any further, let me show you how this object behaves. I'm gonna click OK, and we're going to click F5 so you can see what this does. When we click on it, what's going to happen is a panel menu is going to appear, which right now is pretty much empty. But there's always a close panel button right here, so we can close the panel. Again, I'm gonna click on this button, and the main objects move out of the way to display this area. Let's close it again. Now that you see what it does, let's go configure it. That close button text, we can decide what we want that to say. Right now it says close panel. The content is going to be displayed as in a list. We'll leave it like that for now. So we can have the reveal be a push or an overlay. I'm gonna start with push and show you what that looks like. We can have items in this list. So let's create some. As a demo, we'll call them test. And again, we can put images here just so you can see how this works. I'm gonna do this very quickly for the sake of time. Okay, so now we have some items, the position on the left, and we can swipe them closed, meaning with our finger, because remember, we're working with a mobile site. I'm gonna click OK. Let's do an F5. Watch what happens. You'll see that we're now given more navigation. If we had created links, these would light up when we hover on them. Again, we're gonna go close. And now you'll see that it does push the content when we do that, when we click on this button, how it pushes the content. Let me show you one other thing we could have done. We'll go to products. Instead of pushing it, we can do what's called an overlay. It's just a slightly different effect. I'm gonna say okay. Click on products and you'll see it overlays rather than pushes the content out of the way. It, it goes on top of it or overlays. And that's the panel. For tabs, it works very much like the jQuery tabs on a conventional site, except that, again, it's responsive and fits into the 320 pixel space that we're working with. Tabs is another way to display content. I can put objects here, for example, images, which we'll do. Let's go grab the image tool, click open. There's an object on that. Let's go to item two and put another object there, maybe some text. So I basically have a two item tab menu. If I double click on it and open it up, again, we can add more than two. We can add a third item and even a fourth. But again, you want to be careful because you're working with people's fingers. We don't want these to be too many because these will get too small because they're going to stick to that 320 pixel space. So if we go to F5 and check this out, we can toggle between these content areas. So I'm going to delete this. You'll notice I skipped two of the tools. One's called the layout grid and one's called the responsive table. I'm not going to talk about those in this particular video for the sake of time. These are not tools you would normally use when you're building a smartphone website. These are very, very powerful tools you'll want to use if you're building a responsive site for say something wider like a tablet. You may be wondering at this point, how can I put my logo or some of my own images here? Can I do that? And the answer is yes. We'd simply grab the image tool and draw a box. Let's go find a, a logo. Let's say I have a taxi service and I want my taxi service logo on my mobile site, of course. Well, we can do that. However, you'll notice that it's not at the top of the page because I'm using a header. If I wanted this to be at the top of the page, I'd have to eliminate the use of the header and have my logo be on top. Then I would create navigation underneath my logo using some of the other tools. I would not use the page header tool in this case, don't have to. We can use some of the other navigation tools like say the list view, draw a box, and then I could put my navigation here or I could use the panel tool or whatever. So I think that's enough coverage for this video to give you an idea of what you can do with the mobile site builder. However, there's a series of videos on how to work with these tools more specifically in the members area. This just gives you an overview of the power of working with 
90 second website builder to make mobile devices. You're only limited by your imagination and creativity, so be sure to play around with all of the tools. Here's a little tip before we go. You want to make sure that when you're building a mobile site, you don't load the page down with a lot of objects, especially a lot of interactive or animated objects. When people are looking at a mobile site, they want to see big buttons, something that they can click on easily with their finger, and move to the next page or the next display. It's better to have a mobile site with multiple pages rather than have everything in one small space. But get creative with your mobile site builder and you'll find it's very easy to build professional mobile websites with this amazing tool in 90 Second Website Builder.